Hi, I'm Xenon. At least you don't live down there. But I've been here since I was five, and I don't want to live any place else. And our space station is 27 years old. It needs major improvements or repair. Mess up again, and your father and I will be forced to ground you. Ciao. I can handle myself. I'm 13. Then you better start acting like it. Park a window. We'll be paying our little space station a visit. There's something about that guy that just fully shivers me out. I just get the very creepy feeling that something just doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna find out what women and Lutz are really up to. Sorry, Z, but every time you get one of these feelings, it always ends up in disaster major. I didn't break into the memory bank. Lutz did. I was only down there to spy on him. You don't get it, Z. We're grounding you. I understand that. No, see, I mean, we're really grounding you. What? No, you can't. Well, I made you something. It's no big deal or anything. It's for good luck. You may fool a lot of people, Mr. Wyndham, but just know, you don't fool me. But I do know this, Xenon's on a mission. We should never underestimate what she's capable of. Welcome to Earth. You don't see that every day. Who would want to? You know, for a girl who just got to this planet, you're awfully hard to get hauled up. You think that's an accident? See, now I've got the disc, and you have got squat. What good will it do if you gave the disc to Lutz? You weren't listening, Andrew. I said I gave him a disc. Ingenuity major. We can have as many rainbow discs as we need. <laughs> All right. This really was inspired, sir. Sending such a popular group up to the space station hours before it's going to self-destruct. What a perfect smoke screen to keep any fingers from ever being pointed at you. Ooh. One small hitch I might point out. We weren't supposed to be on board when it self-destructed. Confirm the virus originated from here. We just can't figure out what to do to stop it. farther out of whack, our entire base could come crashing down to Earth. Well, let's face it. We knew someone would step in to fill the void left by the collapse of Wincom. I just never imagined it would be the U.S. military. If your dad wants me to babysit you, fine. I will babysit you. But up here, you are on my turf. We got tapped. They cannot send you to Earth. They are. I think it is ludicrous times ten how they are just blasting away our home bit by bit. They're not up there to unload a few sectors of my space day. They're gonna dismantle the whole thing. Xena, I assigned you this duty to keep you out of trouble. No one has ever gotten even the tiniest indication that there was any sort of intelligent life out there. And that's all. <laughs> no one expects you to find aliens. What are you doing here, Margie? This isn't some stupid, silly field trip. I came down here to try and stop your dad from slicing up my home like salami. By chasing aliens that probably don't even exist? Uh, outer space is a pretty enormous expense, if I recall. How are we supposed to have any idea where to hook up with them? The aliens have seen on a mail. It's true. She uploaded it to Orion. My heart will Find yourself face to face with extraterrestrials. What if I'm wrong about this whole alien thing? Can't we just call the space station and have them send a rescue ship? Before anyone can reach us, we're gonna get sucked into the moon's gravitational field. And all your little escapade has done is to put several people who you claim to love into life threatening jeopardy. The Hammond has a patrol down here searching for you. What Xenon did was brave and thrilling, and the whole thing is so macro that the world needs to know about it. Please join us the day after tomorrow for the very first round of our competition, the thrilling run to Moonstock! <laughs> Why go to all the trouble and expense of staging a festival on the moon? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we can! <laughs> Bringing people to the moon is wrong. It's only a two-day festival. I really need your help. 
what Moonstock is really about. A permanent settlement up here, and we're the beginning of it. What fires you up? Winning. Yeah. See you later, Gold. All you make me do is push out of Xenon Cod cheated. I did get help from an outside force. I knew it. But it wasn't me who cheated broadly. It was Selena, the moon goddess. She was helping me. Right. But it seemed like Selena was calling you out. I'm Selena, goddess of the moon. Word right around the galaxy is you're a girl, you get it's down. Now, you can cheat all you want, but it's still going to be me who wins. Number stranded us on the moon. Things are going to get a whole lot bigger. Everybody to get! Is it your intent and has it always been your intent to use Moonstock to establish squatters' rights and steal the moon? I will never be alone! I have no idea what's the right thing to do. All four fit. You just help us get You're the trying out. to psych me out again. Finally, this isn't about you! Xenon, everything is about me. Selena the Moon Goddess has issued an eviction notice extreme. For heaven's sake, how do you come up with this stuff? Because the last shuttle is leaving in three minutes, and I will be on it. We have six minutes to get rid of this dome. Well, why don't you see if you can make it through this entire lunar adventure without getting sucked into a single galactic calamity? <sighs> hey, all a girl can do is try.